Hey, it's early January 14th, 2010. My video response to Freedom for Kaz, who I just subscribed to today, um, because it was suggested by a friend, uh, this video. Obama orders military to prepare for spring food riots. And in the video, Freedom for Kaz um, asks for people to help. Get out there, research it, dig it up, whatever. So... I went digging, and I really hit all my major sources hard. Uh, CBC, BBC, Mexican News, uh, France 24, Al Jazeera, China Daily, uh, Japan News, uh, News 24, which is South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, uh, South Korea News. Uh, I really just, all over the place went digging for information on this and what's interesting is is none of the websites that I hit dispute that Nar uh, Sarkozy and Obama met uh, they all talk about the meeting they talk about the you know the uh, currency issues and you know there was some mention of rising food prices which were tied in or commodity prices rising which was tied into the currency imbalance issues and stuff. But no one anywhere, including the Chinese or Al Jazeera or Russia Today even, no one anywhere mumbled so much of a word about uh, food riots and, and, and uh, joining military units to combat these supposed upcoming uprisings. And that's odd, because usually if something is amiss in the, in the world, someone somewhere is reporting it. Nine out of ten times, it's usually Russia today, Al Jazeera, or, or China. But somebody reports it because it benefits their countries to, you know, slap the United States in the face. So I found that interesting that no one anywhere is reporting it. So I said, I said okay, well, let's, let's see where your articles are. So I, I clicked on your links the EU Times, before it's news, rumor mill news. And um, the one thing I notice is, is they're pretty much all the same article. They all quote the same source, Sorts of Foul. Okay, so I'm like, oh, oh I wonder who this Sorts of Foul is, right? So I go digging through her article, and what's interesting here is, is that some of the news that Sorts of Fall is reporting, because she wrote the article and all these other uh, internet news services picked up on it, some of the news she's reporting is um, misrepresented, for lack of a better term. Uh, first of all, she, she doesn't quote where she gets this uh, report, this quote, grim report. She doesn't show where she gets it from. She just says it's from the, uh, it was obtained by the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service, and it originally came from France's General Directorate for External Security. Well, I have a problem with that, because you're not really quoting the source. You're just saying it came from them. I have a problem. But what's, what really, really got me about her article is, is as I'm reading through it, she has hyperlinks to various other articles to help prove her story, but I wasn't going through each and every one, but I clicked on the ones in reference to the mysterious die-off die of bees in the United States, and, you know, she's saying that, uh, I'm just going to read a quote from her article, this is quote, when the United States reported that nearly all their honeybees and bumblebee populations have died out, and when coupled with the mysterious dial for the entire bat population in America, blah, 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 okay. And then she says a report re uh, warns that will be biblical and catastrophic. Hmm. So I clicked on the report, and what it comes out to is the report about the bees. They're talking about four species of bees, which are at, at various degrees inbreded, and they're dying out. It's, it says in the report, it's probably due to inbreeding is a big part of it. But you have to realize there's over 50 species of bumblebees in the United States. And they even say this in the article, there's 50 species of bumblebees in the United States. 
But yet yeah, only four of them are just dying off. But the way Miss Switcher-Fowl reports it, it's as if all the bees in the United States are dying off. <sighs> so I'm like, well, who is this Switcher-Fowl? Because, you know, not for nothing, but... You know, there's definitely something fishy going on here. So I click on who they are because it's at whatdoesitmean.com. And it's clearly evident on their website everything is uh, a mix of religion and, and zodiac and some Masonic Lodge symbols up there and stuff like that. And apparently, um, the Order of Sorts of Fall was established in 588 BC in Tara County, Meath of Ireland, and claim as their founder the oldest daughter of King Zedekiah, Tamar Tefi. The name Sorts of Fall comes from the ancient Gaelic branch of the Gaelic languages of Ireland and has a meaning of Sorts of she who brings light foul the dark and barren place. So she who brings light to the dark and barren place. And anyway, so my opinion on this is, and this isn't the first time I've seen Sorcha Fowl write something that's just totally half baked and off the deep end. Uh, my take on it is that the article is a lot of bunk and hype, and it's probably to fluff up fear in people so that they can in turn encourage people to come to their version of religion, whatever it is. I'm assuming it's uh, some some kind of religion based on Judaism, but I'm really not familiar with them. But the point is, is they're pushing fear, promoting fear to get people to come to their religion. And that's why they wrote the article. Uh, truth be told, there is no evidence whatsoever of a uh, upcoming joint uh, French, European, United States military cooperation uh, effort. And at the end of the day, I think it's somebody who wrote an article. Uh, a couple of people on some other websites picked up on it. Said, oh, this is great. We'll put this out there. And that's about as far as it went. I wouldn't put no trust or faith in it. That's for sure. Uh, until next time. Peace. God bless you all, and God bless God bless the Republic. And I gotta get a cup of coffee.